I'm not gonna bother 100%ing this. Uh... Let's Game was cool. Save that up, damn. Fuck. Ah, NGP. What's this? Oh, I see. And then, what's the other one? Uh, I'll look into it. I don't think this is gonna be another crazy ass level. Okay, so is this? You know what? Let's let's play this out first, because I don't think this is gonna go that crazy. There's railings now, so it's not even you know like in the final mission. I assume this is some crazy post-game level. So far it doesn't look crazy though. Okay. Jokes aside, I actually think Spark as a combat game, like a dedicated Spark in the Electric District combat game would be would go so fire. It'd go ham. Okay. I do think so. Because, no, while this does control well, it does not control as well as Adventure 1. But still, for a project, an, in -develop an independent project, away from a massive corporation, this is well made. Is that it? <laughs> what? Post game? Uh, that wasn't even two minutes. What? I don't get it. Okay, I'll check out this next get to the goal ring. Sure, why not? So is this just like levels from Spark 2 or something? Because I've never played Spark 2 so I wouldn't know. Unique idea I guess for the checkpoint. Oh, underwater section. Cool. Was I swimming? I mean, I don't know what else to do. I'm just gonna check out the post game for now. Oh, shit. Now, I know that there's like an air meter in the space mission. I died. Cool. I know there's an air meter in the space mission, but does this affect it here too? Okay. I'm going to assume that these are Spark 2 levels. Help. 
That's not nice. Okay. Freedom. Okay, interesting. Okay, I'll go there, but I just want to check out the shop really quickly, because apparently I got new stuff. That's it. I mean, I bought everything that I care about. Gloria Highway. I hope this is the last one, because I don't want to spend more time here. Because truthfully, while this game is good, it's not great. You know, I really did respect the fact that the final level gave us 8 lives and only 8 lives. That was crazy. That made me more tense, even during the walking sections I was tense. Made me play cautiously. Interesting. So I'm going to assume that this is the quote unquote outside world that Spark is in, so it would make less sense to play a Spark, but who cares? Because this looks more like the outside world. Oh my goodness, Spark, thank you. Oh wow. Ah. Uh. Good. You got like no health left whatsoever. Don't light speed dash here, you'll only die, Miguel. Oh, so the wall climbing isn't automated. To tell me in this game. I know. Oh, like Adventure 2. Cool. Oh, you don't have to switch them. Okay, that's fine. Uh, game? Thank you. Oh, I healed, finally. Nice game. Uh, excuse me? Unless that's an automated segment. Unless it's not automated, that's one thing. What the fuck? Let's try to do this automated. No pressing shit. Cool.
Is that it? Okay. I mean, definitely, it's not as good as the final level. And the final level struggled from... ...being too fucking hard. For the average Joe. But that's good for me. The other thing it struggled in was being too damn long. Like, literally long as hell. Is this the last one, or how many of these are there? Man, if this game had budget, oh, it'd be so good, but it doesn't. Gameplay is solid, but the writing, and it's, it's not... I mean, it works. The game functions as intended. Most of the time. Damn, I got hit. This is nice. I mean, look, I gotta admit, this is a pretty sick level. But I've never played this before, so why am I doing moderately well? I should be struggling. I mean, you could get the idea, you can make the case that, oh, but you played through the game already, so you already have the developed skills for this. Which I guess is true, but I don't know. This is the post game, right? The post game should be brutal shit to me. At least to me. The post game should always like be way harder than the main game. Make it so that once I've mastered the post game, going back to the main game feels easy. That wasn't very hard at all. It was nice though. Cool. We're not done? My goodness. How many more of these do we need to go through? Because this is ridiculous. Oh, it's a uh, white forest. Well, the Neptunia one. This looks like a Neptunia level. Wait a damn minute. I just changed the color of the leaves and we're literally in Blonde's uh, dungeon in Neptunia 1. Seriously, look at this. Oh, now we're getting a new, new design. Oh, I thought I could walk on the leaves. My bad. I don't know why I thought I could do that. <laughs> Spark is not light- Whoa, shit. Spark does not seem light enough to do that. So in this case, it's not just a matter of how do I get there, but also where do I go. It kind of looks like green heel, Doctor. I mean, don't get me wrong, the sense of speed you can get here is amazing, but the fact that you don't have to fight anything, usually, is disturbing to me. Because if you're gonna give us a combat system that admittedly is uh, on par with one of my favorite games, Crystar, then use it! I mean, oh shit. Seriously! 
I think you could have made... They did make missions that were entirely carried off the combat. And you know what? Those missions were some of my favorite missions. I like platforming, but I also like the combat in this game. Go figure, right? It plays like Crystar with a parry button. It literally plays like Crystar with a parry button. <laughs> Which admittedly did kind of lower the difficulty, because Crystar is a game that's actually really hard. Partially because there's no parry, you just gotta dodge everything, or time everything perfectly. Oh shit. Where do I go? See, this is an issue that I have with Spark. I, I, a lot of times, don't actually know where to go. I'm just running and hoping I find something. One of ten? It's the first one to- How early are we in the level? Damn. My eyes are killing me. I've been at this for way too long. Okay. Where do I go? I legitimately don't know where to go. Ah, motherfucker. It's that kind of bullshit again. Oh, what are you doing? Thank you. what I mean. Look at this. The lack of enemies that actually force me to fight them. Like, why even have them here? But if you don't have them, the level's empty. So you gotta do something about these enemies, dude. Like, good level design. For the most part, when I'm not lost out of my mind in the last one. Fine. But your enemy design. Like, some of those enemies are amazing. Real enemies that would I would like to fight more of in this game. But other times, we get enemies that are just like, what am I looking at? 